This is Osborne Reynolds experiment for laminar and turbulent flow. So objective of this experiment is to observe the characteristic of flow of a fluid in a pipe. This may be laminar, turbulent or transition. Uh, and to determine the conditions under which this type of flow occur. And to calculate the calculate and identify Reynolds number for each condition. So as apparatus we have Osborne Reynolds apparatus. Here the ink reservoir, ink control valve, glass bowl layer and the observation pipe, outlet control or drain control valve, inlet control valve. So you will have to control this ink supply, inlet control valve and the drain valve to obtain three different conditions of lamina, turbulent and transition flow. So first we have identified the lamina flow condition. Uh, you can see the lamina flow as a thin streamline. Thin blue color streamline you can see here. That is the lamina flow condition. And to obtain that you will have to carefully control the drain well or the outlet control well. So when you obtain this condition or the lamina condition, uh, you will have to use the measuring cylinder. And from the outlet well you will have to collect certain amount of water, maybe one liter and you will have to calculate, you will have to measure the time uh, from the stopwatch. Then you can calculate the flow rate. And you will have to repeat the process uh, three times with the lamina condition, three different flow rates. And uh, you will change the you will change the flow rate and if you control this well you can see the laminar condition will suddenly change to the transition and if you open it little bit more it will be turbulent so in turbulent condition you will not be able to see small thin streamline but something like this this is the turbulent condition okay, in this turbulent condition you will have to repeat the process you will have to again measure the flow rate using measuring cylinder and uh, drain water from the outlet and uh, there is another important point, you will have to measure the temperature as well. You will have the thermometer, so measure the temperature and based on the graph in your lab sheet, you will have to find the viscosity. And uh, for all flow conditions, you will have to calculate the Reynolds number. 